just when you think all is over, you know, all the UK protests, the stabbing issue is over, then you wake up to another story all over again. You know, this UK protest was actually from the stabbing of three kids in the UK and they are protesting about it. Now, let me tell you this, the 11 years old girl that was stabbed in London was actually from a man in Romania. Yes, this man is Lone Puntura. Yes, he is the man that stabbed this 11 years old Australian girl. So imagine someone traveling all the way from Australia. Australia is extremely far. If you're on the flight, extremely, extremely far. Probably they transited or they got a straight flight. It's still far to come all the way from Australia to the United Kingdom and then get stabbed. Yes, this young girl, 11 years old, is an Australian citizen with her mom and they were in London. Then this man, Romanian man, was in there headlocked this girl and then stabbed her eight times imagine a young girl being stabbed eight times even one stab is even too much for anybody on this earth to endure eight good times by her mom someone will be asking a whole lot of questions that what was her mom doing? imagine someone stabbing other people you will not even go near to this person you know this man is a romanian and has stabbed this Australian girl. Sometimes you wonder who are these people actually stabbing people in the UK? And it's always the foreigners because the three kids that were stabbed in London were the same what it was a foreigner, a black uh, Rwanda that stabbed these three kids who were from a dancing class. Yes. And the same thing has repeated itself all over again. So he headlocked this girl, stabbed her on the neck, Stop there in the shoulder, on the hand, in the wrist, everywhere. And right now, this girl needs a plastic surgery. And the next thing they'll do is probably take him to the prison, you know, maybe jail him for some years or some months. And then he comes out again, or probably they'll say he has mental health issues. Get him to the mental health, you know, facility. He stays there and then comes out again. How many people are actually dying of stabbing? each and every day people have been paralyzed the last horror one i watched was someone that was stabbed and could not walk again totally paralyzed because sometimes when they stab you somewhere your nerves are damaged and you can't walk you know how many times and then at the end of the day you know this is why sometimes i like africa you know because when you do these things and they get hold of you it's either you die on the spots they are going to burn you beat you extremely and then finish you there they are not waiting for police they are never never waiting for police so this man Lone Puntura stabbed this 11 years old girl imagine her recovering from this stab and she's traumatized you know they'll say she should go for therapy but imagine here here in United Kingdom in every conversation or even London you know these people they don't need they just need to be in there for life because the stabbing is actually crazy in the United Kingdom. So the man has been identified and he's going for court on the 10th of September. I hope he gets the, the judgment that he deserves and never comes out. Stabbing 11 years old child. This is crazy. Honestly.